Uh, so we are in game three. So I'm going to go ahead and just get the lobby up on here as we get things set up and just uh, do one more check. Just going to have everyone do one last ready check. Okay, I'm in the observer channel. Okay, I do have a separate bank. Okay. All right, so LME is ready. So as soon as Marietta is ready, we will get this underway. So I mentioned before, we are kind of playing beat the clock, and we are going to game three. So, mm -hmm. although I think at this point, we're, we don't have to worry about the clock anymore. The big question really isn't so much about who's going to take game three. It's going to be, does the connection to server hold long enough so we actually get into the game? Yeah, hopefully. That's that's the big watch. question. So if you guys think that we can do this, let's get that hype going in the chat. Because I have no idea why. Like, I've been broadcasting this for several weeks now, and I've never had this issue with connecting. So I don't know. It's weird. So all we can do is just hope that... Um, That we're good. Uh, I was trying to see. Mary didn't say they were ready yet, right? Let me go check on him. Wait. Okay. Okay. That's good? Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, just had to make sure everyone's ready. All right, start this up and cross our fingers that this works. I got I got my fingers crossed. They're literally crossed. So we are in bomb. Marietta will be defending and LMU will be attacking. So let's see who gets banned. So are there any particular ops that you would expect for a bank? Not specifically. Um, bank is a very common map. Let's see. Of course, we got Jackal, mm -hmm. of course. Now we'll see what LMU decides to go with. I do go with the Twitch this time. We haven't really seen Twitch at all, though. Um, I think we saw her once or twice last game. I'm, yeah. I don't, I've never really seen her banned. Yeah, it's just... I find that one interesting. Mm -hmm. Maybe they just don't like Twitch on this map, so they decided yeah. they don't want to go up against it. And uh, yeah. not gonna lie, I'm a little purple. I mean, Jaeger's a pretty popular champion, but usually not ban worthy. Yeah, um, and it, it's weird because now they can't use Jaeger either. Normally, he's pretty popular in both sides. So. You, you see, see Mira, Mira banned. being banned. All right, here we go. Fingers still crossed. Come on, come on. I, I, Maybe, maybe, I, th I think I did it. It's gotten farther than we have before. My fingers are still crossed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping them crossed. Like until the game actually starts. <laughs> so let's see what we, we got here. So uh, with Mary defending Captain Cade, Rook Smokes, what we'd expect. Now, one thing worth noting, Maverick was not banned this time. Yes. So, And we do see uh, LMU going with that Maverick. So we're going to see if Marietta gets punished for not banning the Maverick. Mm -hmm. It looks like they start... Actually, no. Ooh, we're seeing some swaps going on here. Although Marietta's going to stick with the Vigil, but will LMU go with the Capital? 
And they, and they do. Okay. okay, fingers still crossed. Fingers still crossed. Come on. Don't you dare crash on me. We're in! We're in! We're in. All right. Now I got to remember how to do the controls again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. All right, they're, they're in the bottom floor. Popular. Uh, common first pick. <laughs> All right, so we see the fence is set up. Ten seconds left. Five seconds to go. Attackers must locate and defeat the bomb. All right, I didn't see any drones come by. So maybe they were searching other areas and weren't able to find it. Mm -hmm. They can probably tell where it is. Yeah, the now we start seeing them heading over here repelling up and so forth. Bomb located by attackers. Reloading. So we see LMU gains division. Looks like some shots are being fired somewhere. And Frags was able to take down one for Marietta, take down uh, the Winja. And he goes down as well. By Young Bass. Or Bass. I think it's Young Bass. Hacking. I see some other shots being fired. There right now is a 4v4. And it looks like Res is located too, and they're already planting the uh, the fuser. Swapping. Or maybe not. I thought they were planting, but I guess they're not planting. Mags. And Dave Diddley takes out Lawrence, so it is now a. Uh, 3v4. They're trying to grenade. And Bulba does go down, so there's three already down, four down for Marietta. So all that's left is Rez. And he does take out one, but it's just too many to overwhelm him. So the first round does go to LMU. team chose this map uh technically marietta because the way the the band pick phases work so it's like you ban one then ban another and then you pick one and the other chooses the side and then the okay. other one picks one and the first team chooses the side and then the first team bans so the second team they ban which essentially means they get to pick the last map and yeah. the side so marietta chose bank and defense on this one okay So it looks like Marietta is bringing in the Echo instead of the Cade. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. All right, so it looks like same spot as before. Yeah, they're going for the same spot. Mm -hmm. Back 
Hackers have located a bomb. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds remaining. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. Oh, I know what the problem is. They don't have Rook. They don't have the armor. They don't have the armor. Yeah. A bomb has been located. Okay, so the LMU has found the uh, location of the bombs. And we start to see uh, LMU infiltrating. Capto's already in. Although that mute is going to make it a little more difficult for him. And Bully Hunter was able to take out frags, so uh, LMU is going to have an early advantage. Attackers dropped the diffuser. Although Rez was able to get the kill uh, onto Dave. And that is going to give Mary an advantage with the fact that the diffuser has been dropped, but they did pick it back up. see echo in action here they are planning the diffuser and res does go down oh. although boba was able to take out to the uh diffuser so it is a 3v3 and most of uh lmu are pretty low so that sonic burst did make a difference mm -hmm. And Lawrence is down. He's not dead yet, but Boba's going to try to revive. And actually, they're going to try to plant the diffuser. Attackers are activating the bomb diffuser. So now it's pretty much going to be up to NPC and Boba to finish off the rest of LMU and then disable the diffuser. And actually two from LMU are knocking on death's door, so there technically is only one, one left. Attackers need to protect it. So they are trying to defuse it, and they may be able to pull this off. Oh. And they do get it. Very well done. I mean, that was close, taking some shots right at him, mm -hmm. but just... Well done. So we are tied up one game. Uh, well, we are tied up one game apiece, but now we're tied up one round apiece mm -hmm. as well. Looks like we see, so they're keeping with the echo because that did work pretty well last Just, round. Yeah. Although we do see the Doka be coming out, so we'll see if that plays a role in trying to spot out where Marietta. Oh, never mind. It seems like every time I talk about like a different op, they're like, "Nope, we're gonna swap it." But will they swap it too? Africa, Ooh, good. okay. So then the question is, is Maverick Marietta script tonight? But let's hope not. All right, so of course, new location. So how do you feel about this spot? It's a pretty good spot. It's mid-floor, but 
There's really only a couple places for him to come come at you. It's just both sides of the bomb. There's also a, a third place through the wall that they have um, reinforcing right there, but they don't have a. They do have a mute to try and defend that, but sometimes you'll often see an operator sit in that that room where the the Winja drone is to try and um, guard off that area. Five seconds left before insertion. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Oh, so it looks like Frax is trying to look out, possibly spawn peak a little bit, but I don't think he's going to catch anything there. And with that said, we already hear some gunfire somewhere. Can't tell where, though. Maybe looking at some gunfire soon. Frags actually take some damage. And they're just based on the opposite side of that reinforced wall. Enemy located. Second floor. Heading We see that they're infiltrating from several areas. And Boba does go down. Ready to torch. And Dave actually gets a double kill. Does take some hits, but Frags is down, so he probably will go down uh, just a bit while the plane the diffuser. In fact, Frags does get finished off. So they do plant the uh, diffuser. NPC goes down, so Rez is the only one remaining. And of course, his phone's going to be going off during this, which is the worst thing you can have happen right now. And Rez is taking some damage, but with all five up there, there's just no way he's going to be able to defend from this. So with that, LMU does take the, the lead 2-1. to one. I think Dave got three or four kills that round. I know he got at least two. I couldn't tell if he got any more. I mean, Dave is very good. Mm -hmm. MPC looking at Caviera. It's my personal favorite operator. You don't see her much in competitive play. All right, he does switch out for Pulse, it looks like. Yeah, he's not banned this time, so he can use that to figure out where where everyone's at. So what is it about Caviar that you like? She, uh, we're going back to her. Um, oh. Interesting. So she is a roamer, and I, I have more of a individual play style. So what she can do is has this silent step where whenever she roams around, she's pretty much undetectable by noise. She's just super quiet. So it's very easy to Defenders to hide in a room and sneak up behind an attacker. Okay, so she's a World of Warcraft rogue, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. And then, if you do manage to actually down an enemy, you can interrogate them, which takes a couple seconds, and then you kill them off, and then you can see um, the enemy team for like a couple seconds. Wow. So it it's a little bit like Pulse in that, but you do need to get a kill in order to mm -hmm. pull that off. And you and your whole team can see everyone on the other team. That is huge. Yeah. And then we do see that uh, LMU swapped to IQ. And I think they did that because they saw the pulse. Mm -hmm. But jokes on them, there's no pulse. Yeah. yeah. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. And actually. So it looks like Zofia already took a little bit of damage. I'm not so sure what caused that. 
We'll have to see if that makes a difference later on in the round. Attackers dropped the diffuser. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. Attackers recovered the diffuser. An NPC has already taken a lot of damage. We don't see a whole lot going on just yet, other than the fact that NPC is very low on health. Device is going down. Yeah. And we do see some shots fired, and, he, and Spirit was able to take out NPC. And Rez does go down for Mariana, so it is a 5v3. Although uh, Spirit goes down, so it is down to a 4v3 with 45 seconds left. Okay. And Dave was able to go down thanks to Frags. So it's back to a 3v3 and with the diffuser down in 25 seconds, it may be difficult. And now another kill for actually it's a triple kill for frags. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Although it looks like uh young bass was able to pick up the diffuser, but at this he still has like 10 seconds to try to plant something. And the Legion trap does go off, and he ends up going down. Go. So with only five seconds remaining. And the remainder of LMU does get finished off, so the round goes to Marietta. So, it's tied again. Yeah. Two all. I have to say, this is one of our closest matches we have had all season. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm getting a little nervous here. It's it's, it's yeah, quite exciting, it's actually. It's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, so looks like so. I think NPC decided that uh, the caviar was not working, so it looks like he's going back with the echo. Yeah, vigil vigil um, is a pretty good roamer himself. Uh, Frags did pretty well with him. So it'd be more uh, more helpful to go with with someone like uh, mm -hmm. uh, Echo. And we see, it looks like LMU is bringing out the Blackbeard, and I don't remember if Hibana was in the last game or last round, but I think those were the newest additions. I feel like I should like take notes of what was yeah. done in previous <laughs> rounds, but oh well. I am not a professional caster. I don't even want to try to be a professional caster. You guys know my casting capabilities. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't get paid to do this. Interesting to have both Ibana and Thermite. Maybe they're trying to maybe infiltrate a little bit earlier, or maybe infiltrate from multiple two, places. Two different angles, yeah. So we do see the the same point from round one. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. But we'll see how that makes a difference. Looks like we already see some uh, going in through the sewers, or at least try to get some vision through the sewers. Camera 
but they have spotted out one person for Marietta. And we already hear some gunfire. Bomb located by attackers. Well, that might just be trying to take out some of the... Yeah, try to take out some of the, the drones. And Frags was able to take out one already for LMU early on. So this may give them the advantage they need. Okay. And I think Frags knows there's someone down there. And he does take a hit. Actually, he's at less than half health now. And I think Rez knows that there is one up there. And Frags does end up going down, so it is a 4v4 with about a minute left in the round. And actually, Lawrence goes down too. And so does Rez, so there's only two left.